Monsters Incorporated Storybook Collection. Funny Business. The streets of Monstropolis were filled with monsters on their way to work. It was slow going as Mike and Sully headed to Monsters Incorporated. They had to stop every few feet to, to shake someone's paw, claw, or tail. You guys are amazing, a monster named Needleman called. Yeah, you're really lighting up Monstropolis, his friend Smitty added. That's our job, Mike waved proudly. Sorry we can't stay and chat, Sully said. Gotta get to work. Things had changed at the factory since Mike and Sully had discovered that kids' laughter generated more energy than their screams. Mike had become one of the best laugh collectors on the floor, and Sully was president of the factory now. There was always a lot of work to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. In Sully's office, a mountain of paperwork was stacked on the desk. Sully pressed the message button on her phone, went on his phone. You have 30 new messages, it said. It was hard enough filling out paperwork for screams, Mike said with a sigh. But now I'm getting so many laughs, my paperwork has tripled. And you, Mr. Big Shot Factory President, have everyone's paperwork to worry about. Sully nodded. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually miss Roz. She really kept everything in order. You miss Roz, huh? A low growly voice said from the doorway. Mike and Sully jumped. I'd know that voice at me. I'd know that voice anywhere, Mike whispered. It could only belong to the monster they had just been talking about. Before Monsters Incorporated had become a laugh factory, Roz was the office manager. She was strict and had always hounded Mike for his paperwork, but in reality, she had been working undercover. So one day she'd left and she hadn't been back. Until now. Roz? The friends asked. Guess again, said the voice. The monster sounded like Roz. She looked like Roz. Only she wasn't Roz. The name's Flaws, the monster growled. I'm the new office manager. New office manager? Sully said in surprise. He cleared his throat. <clears> throat> Uh, nice to meet you. I'm... I know who you are, Flaws interrupted. My cousin told me all about you two. You're Roz's cousin, Mike exclaimed, his eye, his eye wide. She especially told me about you, Wazowski, Flaws said. Mike glanced at Sully. That didn't sound good. Flaws handed them a pile of paperwork. These new forms need to be filled out by noon today. What? Sully sputtered. But I haven't even finished the old forms. Don't worry, Sully, Mike said later as they headed to the laugh floor. Flaws can't be any worse than Roz, can she? Besides, maybe she'll help keep things, keep things in order, just like you said. Mike and Sully spent the morning working. Before they knew it, it was lunchtime. They went to the cafeteria. Mmm, try the burnt onion burrito, Sully suggested. Sure, so, Mike said. Maybe after I fill out these forms... Flaws slid over to the table. It slid over to their table. She dropped a stack of papers in front of Mike, knocking over his glass. 
Chocolate milk soaked the forms. That does it, Wazowski! Flaws growled. Good thing I have extra copies right here. Well, wouldn't you know it, my pen is in my locker, Mike jumped up, pulling Sully after him. When they got to the locker room, Mike grabbed an extra sandwich from his bag. Whew, he said, sighing. But before he could take a bike, Needleman and Smitty came in. Needleman was carrying a huge binder. Flaws told us to give you this, Smitty said. Sully, Sully peeked inside. There must be 50 forms in here, and it's still our break. What are we going to do, Mike? I know what I'm not going to do, Mike said, taking his bag and leading Sully into the lo and leading Sully to the lobby. I officially declare today no more paperwork day. Come on, let's take a walk. They pushed open the front door, and there stood Flaws. Not so fast, boys. I forgot to give you the forms where you explain why you're late handing in your forms. Run for it, Sully! cried Mike. If she can't catch us, she can't give us more paperwork. The guys sped down the hallway. Flaws stayed with them every step in the, of the way. <sighs> we'll have to hide, Sully huffed. They ducked into a supply room and squeezed behind a dusty old filing cabinet. But Flaws spotted them. We were just searching for more forms, Mike said quickly. He quickly opened a creaky file drawer and pulled out a cobweb. Guess this will go under C. They raced out of the room with Flaws close behind. Mike and Sully dove, dove into a trash can. I smell unfinished paperwork. Flaws sniffed them out. She yanked the lid off the trash can. Let's go, buddy, Sully cried. He and Mike scrambled out of the trash, escaping just in time. Man, Flaws is everywhere. In here, Sully cried. A closet door was just sliding into place on the laugh floor. They slipped inside. A boy sat up in bed and stared. Whew, that was close, Mike said. How's this for close? Flaws stuck her head between the friends. <gasps> Flaws, they gasped. Monsters, the boy asked from his bed. Flaws suddenly turned pale. It's a... a child, she stammered. This must be your first time with a real child, Sully said, realizing what was wrong. Don't be afraid. They're harmless. But Flaws backed away. She had stepped on me. Squeak! She had stepped on a toy ducky. Ah! Flaws, Flaws cried. The boy started to look frightened. Then his puppy ran in and tried to lick Flaws. Ah! She screamed louder. The boy clutched his blanket. Scary monsters, he cried. Mike, do something, exclaimed Sully. What should I do, Mike asked. The only way Flaws would be funny is if... Oh, wait, I know. He reached into his bag and pulled out a pie with, topped with whipped cream. Hey, Flaws, catch, he yelled. Mike tossed the pie at Flaws. Splat, a direct hit. The pie slowly slid down her face. She was covered in, whip, in whipped cream. Flaws blinked and licked her lips. The boy laughed. <laughs> More, he cried. Sorry, kid, said Mike. Only one pie per customer. The three monsters backed out of the room. On the other side of the door, Mike and Sully grinned at Flaws. 
You're a natural, Mike said. You might have a future on the laugh floor. Flaws nodded slowly. That was quick thinking in there, Wazowski, she grumbled. You see, Mike smiled. It takes more than paperwork to run a funny business. So, Flaws, Sully said, is it okay if we skip some of these forms seeing how busy we are collecting laughs? Right? Not a chance, Flaws growled. Mike and, Mike and Sully groaned. Oh. But, I mean, but I suppose the deadlines can be extended, she said. A little. She paused. Oh, and Wazowski? Flaws said. Never throw a pie at my face again. Yes, Flaws, they answered. At least with Flaws around, things would be in order again. Sort of. What would you do if you had to fill out a bunch of paperwork? Let me know down in the comments below. See you later. Bye.